I am Leah Larson, and this is Josie Larson. She's one. We are from DeSmit, South Dakota, um, and I am a ER nurse in DeSmit. It started in March. She, um, her and her sister got croup and then got like super congested and finally figured out she had an ear infection when she wasn't getting better. Then she was on antibiotics and she got like a super sore butt from those and like upset stomach. Seemed like the, seemed like the ear infection cleared and then it was just like March, April, May, like back to back to back and on all these different antibiotics and just wasn't getting any better. And so our primary here, she um, referred us to ENT. Just very clingy, would just scream. Um, and then with the, that upset stomach, anytime she would like try to go number two, it was just, she would just scream and scream and scream. And then anytime you changed her diaper, she was just beat red, um, wouldn't sleep at night. So those were some pretty tough <laughs> couple months, but he kind of left everything in like your hands. Like he didn't like force anything on you when he came in and, and was like, oh, this is what's happening. We could let it just go. Um, see what will happen in like in the next six months or we could just do the, the tubes um, in both ears and then he like went over like the risks and um, how long they stay in all that kind of stuff and yeah he it was really nice because he like wasn't like forcing anything on you he gave you like very nice clear options and whichever one you wanted kind of a thing so it was really nice amazing they, everybody wanted to either bring her into the um, surgical room, but then they said like there's like a grandma nurse that that's like her designated job with these, with the kids. Um, everybody came in and explained everything that was going to happen. I don't think I wouldn't want to go anywhere else. I guess so. It was really nice. Um, the day of the surgery went really good. I felt like right when we walked in to like get registered before we even sat down in like the waiting room, they're like, all right, come on back, you know, and they, everybody introduced themselves. They, um, had a little stuffed animal on the bed for her, for her to keep. So that was really cute. And then I feel like everybody was just coming in and they're like, this, what is going to happen? I remember when I had tubes, it was super scary because I remembered it. And so it was really nice to have them kind of explain everything and that they know how to like comfort her because they said after anesthesia she'd be like just, she'll just cry so it was really nice to know what to expect and everything went super fast it was really nice it was very nice really good she obviously cried they only wanted her dad there was like no way to like comfort her or anything like that they and they had explained like why that happens and why not but I feel like by the time she got back in the room, I think we were gone in like 35 minutes. But between like the recovery and like discharge paperwork and everything. So went super fast. It was really nice. <laughs> so. Maybe five days after the surgery, we were sleeping a lot longer, taking a couple naps a day instead of like maybe a half hour nap a day. That was extremely nice. No more like pulling at the ears. They... The doctor said that we didn't have to do oral antibiotics anymore. It would just be eardrops, which is awesome. And that they said, and they were explaining that if we ever needed any more, just reach out to them. That's like kind of nice to not have to like go through like five different people and just go straight to them. And just like her overall mood, like was eating more, it seemed like, like actual food instead of just milk. So seemed like that was able to like help her be full at night too and sleep. Because we hadn't ever had, like, we hadn't had a full night's sleep her entire life, like, 11 months up until that point, so. <laughs> so, yeah, that, that's one of the major differences. They will stay in for, I want to say, like, almost a year, up to a year, and they just fall out on their own. Um, they won't feel anything or anything like that, and at that point, everything should kind of be back to normal. I know that you can get, like, more tubes if you need or something like that but he was saying that usually this young it could just be like a one and done type of thing especially since she she had like croup rsv influenza like so close together 
the perks of my three-year-old going to daycare a couple times, you know, so, <laughs> so that was really fun. But so hopefully I'm this just kind of was a one and done type of thing. So because she's doing fantastic. Like I want to say like a like the small community type of care, like everybody was just like focused on you. They weren't worried about what was going on outside. You were their patient and you had like their full undivided attention. They're willing to like answer any questions. My husband is now in the healthcare system, and so he had a few questions, and they gave it to him flat out and easy to understand words, kind of a thing. And but he wasn't really worried about it or anything like that. But he did have a couple questions when we were there. Having to drive in Sioux Falls, the one thing, but um, I feel like I've done most things here in Brookings, and it's familiar and um, very convenient. I could always go to Brookings for something anyways, you know, so <laughs> Walmart. But yeah, it just, it's awesome that specialties come here and give us that not having to drive to Sioux Falls and whatnot, so. Are you one of Brookings Health System's grateful patients who would like to give back to us? Learn more about how you can give back at brookingshealth.org slash mythanks.